everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about the top two stocks that all of y'all should be keeping in your watch list for tomorrow i'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions like we always do here on this channel and i'm also going to be doing an update on some of the stocks that we've talked about in the last video all right now before we begin do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to the channel so let's let's get started let's get right into it now we have the spy right here and today was a good day they had a massive massive amount of money flowing into the market i told y'all that i was bullish on the market because the nasdaq was setting up quite well and to expect a move to 4500 I think I said 4,500. It didn't quite get there. It only got to 4,460. And I think, I think that we're going to go higher to 4,500 tomorrow. There is no reason for me to be bearish on the spy with the way this thing is looking. It's trying to make its move back up. The volume is increasing relative to the day before. If we check out, if we check out the Nasdaq forward slash NQ. Right, we can check out, we can see that it's it's on course, it's on course, it's trying, it's still clean. I don't have a reason to be bearish on it. This one is a little bit beaten down because of um, because of Netflix. Netflix didn't do so well in their earnings and they're down by like 23%. It's quite a shame and uh, it's going to take a long time for Netflix to recover. So it's affecting the NASDAQ a little bit. But I don't think it's going to last. I think it's going to turn around by the morning. All right. So that's my honest opinion on the overall market. Now, the first stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for tomorrow, that stock is Target. All right. And the reason why I want to share Target with y'all is because of this. Um, if you look on the... If you look on the yeah the four hour will do i think it will do if you look on the four hour there's two ways to look at it the first way is the bullish pennant on the chart that broke out a few days ago and it's been running quite well right so it broke out held and then eventually just started creeping up on like thursday and then monday and then tuesday today right Right now it's at $246. I think it can go a lot higher. I think that it can go, I think that it can go to 255, maybe even 260 tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then by like Thursday, I think. All right, so that's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is, the other way to look at it is that there is a inverted head and shoulders on here. There's the left shoulder right here. We got the head right there. And then we got the right shoulder right here. And then we got the neckline right there. All right? And then we just broke above it. And somebody could argue, what if? What if? Bad time. Okay, I got a phone call. All right. So what if, what if this thing could actually fall in retests? It could happen. It could. All right. But I don't think it will. I think, I think it's just going to run to 255 first or maybe 260 before it falls. And also there is a very, very small gap right here that needs to be filled right over here well it's, it's not that small it's actually quite large there is a gap right there in that zone and i think it can make it i think it can make it so definitely watch target for that move all right so that stock is that stock is for the lungs for the bulls out there the next stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list that stock is uh, disney all right now with Disney, Disney is collapsing at the moment. It's not doing too well. If you look on the daily, you can see that there is, it did something really, really nasty. Um, and this is what I mean. So we got the score right here. 
and then the fir the first time it tried a bounce and then the second time it got a little bit below it and then it turned out to be a bear trap right and then the fourth time it got to it it did it again a bear trap and then bounce and now this is it's it's a trap followed by another trap followed by a collapse if we look at the four hour time frame you can clearly see how annoying the stock can be to both bears and bulls right very 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 annoying and it got well below these this previous level of support i think it got room to fall just a little bit it's not gonna fall that much it's probably gonna fall for until like maybe like 9 30 or 10 and then it's gonna rebound i don't think it's going to last for too long i think it's gonna dip to like 122 before it reverses all right so watch it i guess watch it for a long i guess watch it for a long but definitely look for a much cheaper price or you can just short it down as a day trade it is gonna drop but it's just not going to drop for like for days and days and days so this one's a little bit of a tricky one so yeah definitely watch disney long term yeah obviously it got room to run obviously there is a lot of room right here all right we can expect some type of run into earnings but this video is for tomorrow all right so that's my honest thoughts on disney now now let's do some updates so what happened today i told you today was today was a decent day for the overall market lots of money was flooding in um oxy what happened with oxy so we had calls on oxy on the breakout as i showed y'all yesterday or in yesterday's video all right so the oxy trade we got calls right at let me show you right here in that candle right there and let me show you this thing all right so this is oxy yeah see as you can see oxy was in the morning we got these calls and it was running quite well it was doing decent as long as it stayed above like 60.5 or 61 everything was cool and then today today uh, money seemed to be flowing in tech stocks and not in oil companies so um the thing about the market is that it can be very very patient very very generous so it gaps down which is frustrating obviously because i had calls in there but it gives a second chance for people to kind of break even, right? To break even at these levels right here around like $61.50 or $61. So what I did was I got rid of my calls on this one at around like 9, 10, 9, 15 ish, like right here. After I saw that this move was getting kind of weak. So this right there is where I got out of my calls and then i saw i saw ttd all right and the reason why we took a trade on ttd was because of this again i told you all i got out of oxy at like 9 10 9 12 let me show you this thing all right so today oxy is here and then okay 9 9 9 20 9 20 is when i got rid of oxy so I replaced it with TTD because of that pattern right there. I saw the bullish triangle, which is is kind of difficult to see because of all of the pre-market mess. I had a feeling it was there. Everything about it seemed right. The breakout was right. Um, the volume was right. The size of the candle was right. The market conditions were right so we got calls on this one this cost right here for 170 for 170 dollars each and then we're just watching it run um for hours and hours so just kept running and running and running and it got all the way up to like 66 dollars i was just waiting to see if it will start rolling over and as soon as it starts rolling over i will start taking money off the table and then 30 minutes after this little post, it spiked. There was a spike from $66 to 
and then on the next candle at around like 11 30 oh at exactly noon actually i took i sold half half of those calls and then i let it go up for just a little bit more and then i sold all of the calls right at like 67 dollars right before it was about to dip back down again so that was pretty much that trade if we look at what happened later on so this is what happened here i left i left the trade here and then it just kept consolidating sideways and sideways and then it dipped after hours so it was a good decision to just leave the stock alone i think it's going to consolidate and eventually it's going to go higher right so those contracts are definitely going to get cheaper there's going to be another opportunity to probably get it back for another move to the upside when is that going to happen it could happen tomorrow again i am bullish on the market tomorrow could be could could be where um a situation where stocks don't do much right we can just stay at like negative zero point 50 percent to positive 0 0.20 percent just in that little range and then on thursday we could go higher um so that's that's my thoughts on all of that and that is pretty much the trade that we took um but regarding the other oil companies the other oil companies are fine if we look at cvx like they pretty much did nothing the money wasn't flowing in this sector like you see that's why i had to get rid of oil and apa apa did a little bit better than the other oil companies right so this is apa um the other stocks in that video was microsoft yeah and microsoft i showed i shared with y'all that uh both flag on here and i told y'all that it would run all the way up to 285 dollars the entry was right here, right? So congrats to anybody who was able to make some money on that one as well. Again, so like I said, it was a pretty good day all overall. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. It helps the channel out and allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you'd like to be part of a private discord community you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below if you haven't added me on social media yet you can find me at paul and guma and i've been knowledge lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly if all of this is brand new to you if you're interested in getting started in the stock market I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below step one to step three it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately you can also get some free stocks after setting up we will using the third link in the description of the video below once again ladies and gentlemen my name is paul nguma with an analogy lab where we trade patterns and patterns only and I will see all of you in the next video.